So in this lesson, the method of pairwise comparisons, uh, we are going to see that it uses the same exact technique as we use when we search for a Condorcet candidate. However, when we're searching for a Condorcet candidate, one candidate must be all others in head-to-head -head comparisons. When we're using the method of pairwise comparisons, we simply will keep track of who wins the most head-to-head -head competitions and declare that choice or candidate to be the winner. So we have an example here. And if we first start by saying we have four candidates. So how many pairwise comparisons can we make? If you recall, we have combination of four comma two, which is four factorial over two factorial times four minus two factorial. So C of four comma two is four times three times two times one over two times one times two times one. And we can see that the two times one cancel. Four times three is 12. Two times one is two. So there are six pairs that we need to list out. So let's list out the six pairs. We have A versus B. A versus C, A versus D, B versus C, B versus D, and C versus D. So that's all six of our pairs. Now we can tally it up. Remember, when I'm looking at A versus B, I'm only looking at candidates A and B and saying who's ranked higher in the column, and whoever's ranked higher in the column will get those votes. So we have 14 votes go to A from column 1, 10 votes go to B from column 2, 8 more votes go to B from column 3, plus 4 more, plus 1 more. We see that B is the winner, and we circle them. We see that that means B gets 1 point. Let's do this for the rest of the pairs. So next we're going to look at A versus C. We see that A gets the 14, C gets 10, C gets 8, C gets 4 and 1, C wins. A versus D, A gets 14. We see that A is in last place here, so the other candidate is going to get 10, 8, 4, 1. D wins. So now we can move on to B versus C. Comparing just B and C now. We see that B gets the 14, C gets 10, C gets 8, B gets 4, and C gets 1. So C wins there. B versus D. We have 14 votes for B, another 10 votes for B, 8 votes for D, 4 and 1. B wins. And the last head-to-head -head competition is C versus D. That's 14 votes for C, 10 more votes for C. D gets 8, D gets 4, C gets 1. C wins. So now we're going to say, how many points did A get altogether? A was never circled, so it got 0 points. How many points did B win altogether? B has two circles, so B has two points. How many wins did C get in all? C has three circles, so C has three points. And we see that D has one circle. And this should add up to how many competitions we did. 3 plus 1 plus 2 is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They're all accounted for. So we see that C wins and that C is also a Condorcet candidate. However, if C did not win all of the head-to-head uh, -head competitions, it's possible that C would have had 2 and um, let's say A and B each had uh, one and a half. Uh, because if you get a tie, you would circle both players if they got a tie and give them half a point each instead of one point each. Um, but that didn't happen here, but it could. And we would be looking for the person with the most points at the end. Um, and remember, ties are awarded half a point each. So that's the method of pairwise comparison. Very much the same thing as the Condorcet uh, criterion when we search for a Condorcet candidate. We're just now assigning points to wins and half points to ties.